The Brain Simulator 2 Software Modules for More Complex Functions For AGI, we need real-world interaction like vision and robotics, things which interface the AGI with the real world. While some programs may classify images of cats and dogs and pretend to know the difference, Genuine understanding can only come from knowledge that things exist in a world. In the last video, I introduced the basic neuron model used in the brain simulator and described several capabilities, including that the model lets the system support millions of neurons in real time on a desktop computer. But many functions needed for AGI are difficult or tedious to implement in the neuron model. And for these functions, I can allocate a rectangular or linear neuron area and write a software module which will be called to perform the desired function. The initial general group of software modules I've written involve input and output. To that end, I have modules for vision, hearing, speech, and robotic control. Because vision is so complex, I not only have modules for a camera, but a high resolution area I call the fovea, and I have also written a module which simulates the visual input from a virtual environment. That way I can get simple repeatable inputs, which are valuable for debugging and for creating downstream vision processing modules. The robotic controls can also let the system navigate through the virtual environment and change its point of view. From within a software module, I can access the entire neuron array so programs can get and set individual neuron values and add and adjust synapses. My objective with the brain simulator is to prototype an end-to-end -end AGI system, so I am leveraging plenty of existing software and algorithms. For example, the hearing and speech modules use speech recognition and speech synthesis subsystems native to Windows. Computer, what do you see? I see a gray square, a red rectangle, and an orange rectangle. Computer, turn around. Computer, what do you see? I see a pink square. Computer, what is behind you? Behind me, I remember a gray square and a red rectangle and an orange rectangle. Now I'm working on modules which perform various other AI functions. The overall design I'm working toward is described more fully in my previous video, How to Create AGI. If this looks like an interesting line of development, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. For more on this timely topic, read my new book, Will Computers Revolt? Preparing for the Future of Artificial Intelligence. Available now at Amazon and book retailers worldwide in paperback, hardcover, and ebook editions.